Controlling Aedes aegypti is very challenging because this is a mosquito that tends to enter people's houses and stay there for its lifetime. Uh, it, that makes it difficult for insecticides, for example, to penetrate homes unless spraying is done uh, within the home. Uh, controlling exposure to Aedes aegypti, again, when they enter people's homes, as they often do in Latin America and the Caribbean, is also very challenging, and these mosquitoes bite during the daytime as well as at dawn and dusk. So wearing repellents and protective clothing, even clothing impregnated by insecticides, is the best way to pre prevent that bite from occurring, even for travelers who may be staying in a home or a hotel in this part of the world where air conditioning and screens are not very common. Fortunately, here in the U.S., we're not expecting, uh, even from imported cases, major outbreaks. We don't expect to see millions of people being infected here like we're seeing in Latin America, mainly because of our differences in lifestyle, where we typically stay in air-conditioned homes during the warm part of the year when transmission would be most efficient, or we at least screen our windows and doors uh, during other times of the year to prevent Aedes aegypti and other mosquitoes from entering. But it's important for uh, Americans to recognize that the Aedes aegypti is a very different kind of mosquito than the vector of West Nile virus, uh, Culex mosquitoes, which tend to stay outdoors more and they tend to be more active at nighttime and biting. So in the southern U.S. where Aedes aegypti is present, it's important to be vigilant during the daytime, to keep mosquitoes out of our homes, and also to eliminate standing water around our homes, which is where the larvae of Aedes aegypti are typically found. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.